We Make Movies is recorded in front of a live audience in Los Angeles and is hosted by WeMakeMovies.org. We're also grateful to be sponsored by Pretzel Crisp and Aqua Hydrate. Hello and welcome back to another episode of How We Make Movies. Each episode we talk with independent filmmakers about their trials, their journeys, their successes. Um, this week we're so lucky to have two special guests with us. They are the uh, director and producer and musician behind the documentary and only our second documentary to have on how we make movies to date called Satan's Angel, Queen of the Fire Tassels. Okay, all right. When I first saw, I gotta be honest, when I first saw the name of this, uh, you were recommended to me by a fr friend of yours. Um, I was like, what kind of cheap horror flick? I'm not bringing these guys on. <laughs> but tell me about the film, because it's not a cheap horror flick. It's a documentary, and it's a very interesting documentary. How would you describe it? Uh, well, it's uh, it's a documentary about a burlesque legend. Uh -huh. um, she her name is Satan's Angel. She's uh, she's done three decades of burlesque. She's danced all over the world, and she's famous for uh, putting her tassels on fire and twirling them like nobody's business. Are, are you guys intrigued by this character, Satan's Angel? Do you want to meet her? <laughs> let's let's go ahead and, and play the play the trailer. <laughs> She's sassy, she speaks her mind, she is an amazing performer. She's still around and doing her thing and hasn't come off the stage yet. Energetic. She's more fabulous today than she was years ago. Mysterious. It's the younger generation that keeps me in this business. Angel had a little bit to do with changing the reception that the legends get now. I don't give a shit who's okay. looking. You think I get a fuck who's looking? Okay. Screw you, buddy. I'm a lesbian. Pow, he'd hit me again. The money I make in burlesque is how we live. This is what I live for, burlesque today. She's one of those fierce women that I love. She was truly still keeping the entertainment side of it alive as opposed to just the sexual side of it. I'm going out in style the same way I came in. She does do a great, absolute, authentic burlesque act. Every stripper in this business that's a legend knows exactly how, how, how we are. We gave to everybody. That's why half of us are broke. Now, I, I'm interested in this film just because I, I think she comes off as an interesting character who's lived a very different lifestyle than anything I've ever been exposed to. But what were some of the benefits of choosing in advance and starting with a short, but choosing someone that was so off the beaten path and so niche? Did that help with marketing? I don't even think when you get started, yeah. you're even thinking about that. So you didn't consider that at all, the gay and lesbian community, the uh, burlesque community? It came in later to a cult. Yeah, it, totally. But when, when, it, when it started, I mean, honestly, Josh and I did it just because uh, we do things mainly because uh, we're just really interested in a character and we like telling a story. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how it started. You know, it wasn't really preconceived or anything. And as we went along filming, it just developed and took a life, life of its own and we ran with it. <laughs> What, what are some because we haven't had that many documentaries on the show. You, like I said, you're only the second one. Um, and following a one person mm -hmm. rather than the last documentary we had, ask information from very a lot of people and had the focus was a theme, not a person. So going through all the footage of that person and coming up with a storyline where most narrative filmmakers have a story that then they go and execute and they get exactly the footage they need and move right. on. What were some of the challenges of that and how did you uh, formulate the story and, and find the arcs that you need to make it interesting? Well, for a documentary is a whole nother beast. I mean, it, it's, it is, 
you, it comes together in the in post. Mm -hmm. I mean, we would drive and we'd shoot these interviews with her in Palm Springs or wherever in Las Vegas, and we'd be driving back home and we'd be like, oh man, this is gonna be great, we'll cut to that, and then we'll use some of that footage. When you get into that editing room and you're sitting there and you're looking at all this stuff and you're like, okay, this works, no, that doesn't work, and then, then maybe this works. Between that and you get these side stories from her or other people where you're kind of like, ooh, that would be a cool thing to explore. Mm. Trying to keep that and rein it in and, and just you know keep a central kind of focus is a difficult thing. And, and, and the real burlesque, they consider it an art form. Oh, big time. Like They're, a seductive dance that's an art they form. They are all about costumes. Mm -hmm. It's all smoke and mirrors. I mean, it's showbiz to them. Right. And the one, uh, it's an art. The ones that are some girls that uh, dance are just so good at it. They've yeah. just got it down. I mean, Lily von Stupp does a uh, does a show on Mondays. It's like right around the corner from here. Uh huh. It's, what is this? Uh, Santa Monica and Three of Vine. Clubs. Yeah. Three of Clubs. She, every Three of Clubs. That's where yeah. we hang out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. That was a good good burlesque she, show there. She does it every Monday. Yeah. She has it Monday night tees. It's the right. longest running burlesque show in LA, and I think she sells out almost every. Monday. Wow. At that. And, and those girls dance in country that come in and you see authentic, really good. You know when you see a real, there's a, it's like night and day when you see the real thing. Because mm -hmm. they're all about, you know, it's, you know, it's acting, it's drama, it's everything, you know. I think they're very serious about it. They're very, very serious about what they do. They make their own costumes, you know, they tour, they, they strive to like hit the mark. Um, every time they're out there, with the music that they decide, with yeah. the routine, whether they're mimicking an old uh, uh, legend that they've seen, you know, the the footage of, they get the moves down exactly correct. They're very serious about it. It's, I mean, it's an art, you know. Yeah. I was, yeah, and I guess I wasn't totally surprised, but there's not a lot, a lot of money to be made in it, you know, mm -hmm. and it, it's cool to see how many girls are out there. Uh, just doing it because they love doing they it. They love it. Yeah. How do we keep up to date and find out what new news we've got as far as like different releases and information about the film go? Check out the website. Satan'sAngelMovie.com. Um, at Satan's Angel MOV is our On Twitter. Twitter. And Facebook.com slash Satan's Angel Movie. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you so much Thanks for thank joining us. us today and That's talking awesome. about your film. <laughs> Thank you. I, I really find it interesting. Thank you so much, guys. And cut.